Okay, question number two on the sheet, okay, is saying the jet of water having a velocity of 30 meters per second, okay, impinges on a series of veins which divert the water through 120 degrees, okay? So what do I mean by that? Well, we've got a jet of water like this, okay? And we have essentially a vein that looks like that, okay? So the jet of water comes along and gets diverted through 120 degrees. So here's the water. And we, here we've got a vein that curves up Okay, and that angle there, that's 120 degrees, okay? Here we've got C1, here we've got C2, okay? <coughs> and again, we'll take positive to be this direction, okay, X and Y. And so, again, we make a little table. One, C1X is C1, C1Y is zero. Okay, for 2, the magnitude of C2 is going to be the magnitude of C1. C2x is going to be minus C2 cosine 60. C2y is going to be C2 sine of 60. <laughs> now, since we know the magnitude of C1 is the same as the magnitude of C2, we can rewrite these minus minus C1 cosine 60, and this is going to be C1 sine of 60. We know F equals M dot C2 minus C1. Okay? So in the X direction, the force on the fluid in the X direction is M dot. C2 is going to be minus C1 Cosine 60 minus C1. And the y direction, we've got Fy, force on the fluid in the y direction. We've got nothing in the, uh, in for point 1, okay? And for, for the y direction in 2, we've got C1 sine of 60. Now we know what C1 is, okay? It's 30. Mass flow rate is. Okay, so we have to calculate that out. M dot equals rho times A times C. So that's to be rho pi D squared upon 4 times by C. We're dealing with water. So that's 1,000 times by pi times by. We've been given the diameter of the jet, 0.3. So that's 0.3 squared divided by 4 times by C, which is 30. So the M dot, 2121 kilograms per second. <coughs> so the force, 2121 times by, here we've got minus 30, cos of 60, minus 30. Okay, so that's going to come out to be minus 9544.5 newtons. Fy is the same equation, so 2, 1, 2, 1, times by, we've got C1 sine of 60, so that's 30 sine of 60. And that comes out to be 5510.5 newtons. So that is the force on the fluid, okay? Force on the fluid, Fx and Fy. <coughs> so the force on the vein is equal but opposite And it wants the resultant force on the vein, not in the x and y direction. So we can, obviously, they're just going to be the equal opposite, but the resultant 
That's the square root of this, this one, minus fx squared plus minus fy squared, all square rooted. So that's going to be 9544.5 squared plus 5510.5 squared. You do the sums, you get 110.2 newtons. <coughs> and so there's going to be a force. We can work out the angle, and the later questions do work out the angle. It's going to be somewhere in that direction. I'll draw it down here. We have a vein. Okay. Fluid. There's going to be a force in this direction, R. Okay, there's some angle to that, and that's the force there. So the magnitude of the force is 110.2 newtons. Okay.